Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, and I am back with a PR um, haul from Cocorosa. Um, before I show you what I got for my package, I want to start this off by saying I have always been a thousand percent honest with you guys and I will continue to be a thousand percent honest with you guys. I think this is going to be my last collaboration with Cocorosa. It just seems to me, and this is just me, my experience, and my opinion. So, again, it, this is just me. Um, the communication isn't there. It takes forever for the shipping. Um, and I just feel like... I don't know, like I'm, I'm missing a little and I'm missing out on a little bit. And when I tried to voice how I felt or the way I saw it, it just wasn't received at all. Um, and to be honest, I, I think that no matter who I do anything for, whatever company I try, not I, tr no, that's not, that's BS. I always give a hundred and ten percent of myself. So when I had voiced how I felt, um, it felt like it didn't matter, you know, or that I didn't matter. So I don't know. I don't feel comfortable working with a company like that. And then this is now the third, I believe the third, um, order I have had issues with the die or with the dyes, uh, not all of them, but some of them. Um, there were a few times that I just refused to show it in my video because again, I'm not, <sighs> maybe I was wrong for doing that, but I just, I didn't want to promote something I don't stand behind. So I chose not to even put it on my video, which looking back may have been the wrong thing to do. I should have just came on and said, listen, this die, like, but I don't know. It just, there's never, you know, oh, hey, let me send you a new one. It might be a default. There's just no communication whatsoever. Um, and I'm such a little itty bitty person on the totem pole. So I, you know, I get it, but again, it doesn't mean I have to do it. So I received this after a really long time of waiting and I'm having issues with some of the dies. So I'm just going to show you what they are. And you know, you guys, can determine what you want to do. You're all grown ups. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me, but I just wanted to say that this, I believe, will be my last Cocorosa haul, PR or not. So I ordered a few dies. Um, this one is cute, although I did not realize how tiny it is. Um, so yeah, and not only did I not realize how tiny it was, you have absolutely no idea which way it goes. <laughs> I mean, obviously it doesn't go this way because these are so, but I don't know. You, again, I, it's just, I was disappointed uh, clearly, but I cut them out and I wanted to show you how they, they cut out fine. There was no issue with the dye itself. So that that's good. Um, but this is how it cuts out. Um, I, I did, I, I bent it a little, just, I don't know why I did that, but I did, but that's the way it, it looks cut out. It's cute. Um, but to, to lay it down as a fence doesn't work because of the hearts on the bottom. And then if you flip it around, that's even worse because these are so long. Um, and then I, I cut them out a couple times to see how it would look lined up. Um, and it just, I don't know, it just doesn't. It doesn't work. So that's this way. And then if you turn it around, um, you know, because if you had a lot of real estate on your card or whatever and you wanted to make a little scene, it, it just doesn't line up well either. So I don't know. Again, just very disappointed with this die. I don't think I will use it, to be honest. I mean, I'll use it in a project so you guys can see how it goes. Um, because that's what I told Cocorosa I would do, and I'm a person of my word. Um, but, 
yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, unless you guys see it differently, it could just be because I'm very disappointed in the entire situation. I don't know, but I try, I think I'm pretty good with taking myself out of it because I love crafting. So, you know, not too much interferes with that. Whether I'm upset or I'm not upset, I'm still going to craft and create and love what I'm doing. And I'm obsessed with dyes. So, but I just, I don't see it. So anyway, that's the first one. <laughs> And when I create something with it, I will come back and show you. But I wanted to cut these out just to show you what they look like. Um, this one I have been dying to have in my stash for the longest time. And then, of course, I get it. And I didn't realize it was so big. And not that it's huge, but it's just, again, not what I had expected. So, and I had a very hard time cutting this die the worst. I tried 110 card pound, uh, 110 pound cardstock. I tried the 65 pound cardstock. I tried the lightest paper. I tried the thickest paper. I, I couldn't get it to cut. Now the main die itself cuts, right? And then these two pieces cut with no problem. The shade parts, these came right out. Here's the problem. These are supposed to all come out. All the dies that you see in here, actually, let me bring this up so you can see. Let me stand up. Okay, so let me see if it'll focus. There we go. So you see all these dies here, they're supposed to cut out. This piece here is supposed to cut out. This little piece here is supposed to cut out. This piece here, and then the bottom piece here. Now, to show you, because I had just received new die plates, and I got four, so here are three, and I used this one. And this, this cutting plate, the only dies it's cut are the Cocorosa dies. It has not cut any other die. So my plate was brand new. I ran it through six, seven, eight times. And I'm telling you, on every piece of paper, I couldn't get this part to cut through. I mean, you can even see it on the back. It, it's like it didn't go through. Some of these did, but not all of them. Like all of these in here didn't even cut to the back. There's nothing here or down here. Nothing. And it was like that with every single piece of paper that I used. So that's no good to me. Like, how do you use a die that doesn't work? You know what I'm trying to say? Um, so yeah, like, I, I don't know, again, just extremely disappointed. Um, and I, I just don't think, well, first of all, I don't care if you spend a dollar, $10, a hundred dollars. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's not worth the price, period. But I mean, it just, it just doesn't work. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. So that's the second one. Okay. So this one I had no issue with whatsoever. The only issue I had with these were trying to get them apart <laughs> because, and only because, and you guys know this, and, and there's really not much anybody can do about it. Like the companies, I mean, um, unless they're going to charge more, I'm sure. But these are so, um, I guess flimsy. Like, I honestly don't know what other word to use. They're very delicate. They're very flimsy. So you bend it a certain way and honey, it, it's going to break and it's going it, to, yeah. So th it was, it was a very, it was a struggle <laughs> to get them apart. But I will say this. This is definitely a die I will keep in my, my stash and I will use often because it's very pretty and it cuts well. Um, so I used some Prima paper because I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. Um, let me put this again. This is the die. These are all the pieces it comes with. Um, and then I, like I said, I cut them out. So these are the pretty rounded ones, <laughs> I guess you could say. And then the, the plain ones that I'm calling delicate or flimsy, um, that goes here. And I just think that looks so pretty. And then here's the second size or second largest size, I should say. Oh, 
what is that? Oh, it's paper. Oh my God. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that was. <laughs> okay. So then there's, the, oh, it's back. Go away. All right. Um, okay. So then there's this size and then that mat. And then there is this size. I thought there was a really, really small one, but maybe not unless I lost it, which is possible. Okay. And then this one and then this one. Okay. Yeah, no. So that's right. Okay. So there's, these are all of the sizes. And again, I love it. They cut beautifully one pass, no problem for every single one of them. The only issue I had was trying to take them apart. That was it. So these are definitely, I would recommend these. Um, and they're not that pricey. So I, I think that, you know, for that aspect, it's, it's like a good win all around. Okay. So then the next die that I got was this one. And again, guys, all of the, the links and everything will be in the description bar below. Um, so if there's anything here that you want and you want to try on your own, then you'll have the links. So this one comes with two. I thought this was all one piece. <laughs> silly me because I don't pay attention <laughs> and that and I'll hey look you know I could be honest I'm always honest but I didn't I didn't pay attention I thought this was all one piece but they're not they're two separate pieces this is one and that is beautiful and then this is the other I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be but whatever it's okay so I cut these out at a hundred and on a hundred and ten pound card stock. Not one problem. It cut beautifully. It came out beautifully. Look at how pretty that is. Um, and then this one again, both of them came out. No issue. I don't know what that is supposed to be though. I, I'm not really sure, but it's okay. Cause I like this one. <laughs> And this would be great for like a background or a filler. You know what I mean? Um, but again, like I said, I cut it out one pass. Absolutely beautiful. Came right out. No issues whatsoever. Um, so yeah. And oh, and this one I did try the lighter uh, cardstock too, the 65 pound. And again, no issue whatsoever. I cut this, this one out first. And then this, the second one I cut out in the 65 pound, I think it was white. Um, but yeah, so these highly recommend, very, very pretty. Um, these, or I'm sorry, these. <laughs> so, um, okay, let me show you the actual dies. So there's three, okay. And a lot of the YouTubers that are working with Cocorosa, um, got this one as well and have made beautiful projects. Um, I like it. I actually, I really, really do like it. There was no issue with cutting. I don't remember. Was there? No, there was no issue whatsoever. Um, I just wanted to show you all the, the bits and bobs and pieces. And so this cuts out, um, ah, the dog, my brother's home. So the dogs were going crazy. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so that's the, um, the middle piece. So you could do different colors if you wanted to. And again, it cut out beautifully. These are all the inside pieces that are in here. And I didn't realize this, but these actually, these tiny little circles all cut out so you can see right through them. So that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't know that one either. So that was awesome. I had no issue with the either um, of the other two and they cut out just as beautiful as the big one. So again, recommend this die. Absolutely. I really like it. It's, um, you know, it, I think it would be a great die to have in your, your die stuff. <laughs> so again, really, really like this one. Um, and I will use it absolutely and and keep it in my stash so i'm gonna throw some of these bits away because they're driving me nuts and i just kept them to show you guys <laughs> that um yeah there was no 
issue, no problem, and they cut out really, really well. So that was that. So last but not least, this die. <laughs> Let me just say that um, if I was on the second floor, third, fifth, the hundredth floor, this thing would have went right out the window. This was so frustrating. And the, the shame of it is it's a beautiful, well, I think it's a beautiful die. I don't know because I can't cut the damn thing out. I have tried everything. And again, guys, remember, I used a brand new cutting plate. I have the, um, for my die cutting machine, I have the base plate that has the, this one, the mirrored one. Um, and that takes the place of another uh, cutting pad. I took that out. I used two brand new, well, that one and then a, a green one that I had was brand new. Used that. I used 110 pound cardstock, which was this. Um, and oh God, guys, what a mess. I used, a, I used 65 pound. I used 80 pound. I used printer paper. I used regular paper, no matter what paper I used it would get stuck and I couldn't get it out. And no matter what I did, it ripped, it teared. And I just want to show you real quick, like it is stuck in there. I, I can't get it out. Like I am pushing on this and I mean, hold on. Oh, well that went <laughs> pushing and I can't get it. I can't get it to lift up. I got that part, which was shocking because that, you know, but yeah. So, I mean, and that, this was, I think my last attempt because I was done. Like you could see it here. It ripped here. It ripped, uh, here it ripped, ripped there. And I, I saved it all. So you could see, I mean, I think it would be beautiful, but look, look at what a mess. And when I tell you it did it to every single paper I used, it did it to every single paper. It's not cutting through. It, it's just tearing. This is the worst die ever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to laugh, but I, I'm just so frustrated with this. It's, it's not even funny. Um, and again, it's just ripped and torn. And it, I mean, I sat here for 25 minutes and tried to get just one out, just one, to have a full piece to show you, and I couldn't do it. And I'm telling you, I would not sit here and do, if it took me 25 minutes and I still couldn't get it out, guys, I, 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 I stay maybe a couple minutes at the most. If I can't do it, it's not done then. That's just the way I am. I can't not that I can't be bothered, but I can't be bothered. And as crafters, you guys know, we need to get it done. We need to do it and, and move on. You know, we have other things we want to do and, and try. And it's just frustrating because it, if this was the first time, it would be no issue at all. Okay. Things happen. Okay. So they are not going to send me a new one. Um, but you know, that's all right. I'll get a different one, but it just seems like more and more I'm having issues with their die. So I just think it's time to part ways. Um, sad, but whatever. And they, they won't even know. They wouldn't even pay attention. I guarantee you, if I don't contact them, they won't contact me. So anyway, so that is my review on these dies. If again, I will leave um, a link for every single one of them. So, you know, again, this is just my experience. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be your experience, but I wanted to come up here and be honest with you. So that's where we're at. I will come back and show you, um, I'll probably do it in two videos, um, uh, projects that I've made with these, except for this, there's, there will be nothing for this cause I can't get it out. So, um, whatever they want to do with that is fine. Uh, but yeah, for the other ones, I will come back on and show you what I created. And, um, you know, with, as far as the lamp goes, I'll do my best. Like I'll, you know, I'll just cut it out as one piece. Um, and hopefully, you know, somebody else will have better luck. 
but yeah all right guys let me know what you guys think down below you guys know i love hearing your opinions and um it matters to me what you think so i love you all i hope you're all having a fantastic night and i will see you in my next video bye guys